In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Let us recall God's presence. My sweet Jesus, I know you are ever present with me. Grant me the grace to deny myself earthly comforts as you so perfectly did in your passion. Friday is always the penitential day of the year, except, of course, when the big feast day falls on it. It is so especially in Lent a time to fast. How you do that is up to you with the help of God and a spiritual director or regular confessor. But the church does guide us on the matter. No meat on Fridays can be practiced throughout the year. But it is especially asked of us on Lenten Fridays. Also, practically, to fast is to go without a meal or so. It can be done by having half portions and one full-size meal. Either way, it's meant to hurt. It's meant to be uncomfortable. But you, O soul, must find everlasting comfort in your Father in heaven. Turn away from worldly goods and face the everlasting good himself, our Lord and our God. Food and sex are not just desirable by man, but they are also necessary for the maintaining of man. Our body requires nourishment. We must eat. The human race requires newborns in order to continue to populate the earth. We must procreate. God has made these things desirable because they are necessary for the continuation of God's goodness on earth. This is what makes abstaining from food so powerful. Sex should only be occurring in the right context of marriage, and so not everyone can give up sex. Everyone, however, can give up food in order to grow the muscle of the will and to offer it up to God as an act of love. If you fall into habitual sin, You need to begin habitually denying yourself. The church fathers knew that fasting is integral to gain control over oneself, over our desires, so that we may be able to rightly order them. The sin that we let into our bodies through our own free will allows for Satan to win ground and take up space in us. It is like as if he's a powerful warlord storming a city's gates. You must gain your ground back through the holy weapon of fasting and humbly ask for the Holy Ghost's assistance. Do not forget, my friend, in all things, turn to prayer. Now, a challenge for the today is to make smaller the size of your meals so as not to have that satisfying feeling of fullness after eating. Try and deny yourself of that pleasure. May God bless you always in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.